I'm Steve Tarano with Ask a Rural Expert. This video is going out to Dr. Santiago in Ecuador. Good to hear from you, Doc. He emailed me and said, hey, Steve, what do you mean by moron training in your last video? And I think he's razzing me a little bit, but you know, actually, I sort of shot that out a little too quickly, and I apologize. But when I talk about training smart and training hard, I'm thinking in terms of training intelligently, consistently, and intensely. Intelligently means doing the right exercises, not wasting your time in the gym, because it's hard to build muscle. It takes time and it takes effort. So if a guy is in the gym or if a woman's in the gym and they want to get the best results possible, I want to give them the truth. We don't want to waste our time doing anything and not get the results that we're interested in. So that's where intelligent training comes into play. Then consistent training is training on a regular basis. Whether it's two times a week, three times a week, five times a week, doesn't make any difference. But whatever it is you do, you got to do it consistently because we're talking about cellular changes occurring in the muscle. Things that are happening at the microscopic level. So we need a lot of those changes occurring. And the only way that's going to happen is if the stress of lifting is always present on the muscle day after day, week after week, month after month. I always say it's the accumulation of those workouts. And we know what intensity means. It means training hard. Does it mean going to failure on every set? No, not really. But each set needs to be kind of hard. Because again, we're looking at adding additional stress to the muscle above and beyond what is normally it's normally used to. So when I see guys in the gym and they're bench pressing one dumbbell, I'm going, what are you doing there, brother? Why not have one in each hand, balance yourself out, and the power of one arm can drive and feed off the power of the other? Now listen, if I was in prison and they threw one dumbbell in my cell and they go, bitch, use that, you know something? I'd be bench pressed with one dumbbell. Yeah, absolutely. But this isn't, uh, you know, you're not in Pelican Bay. You're in the gym. Use two dumbbells. Now, if there's ever a competition where a guy has to bench one dumbbell, you'd win. But if I'm benching 100-pound dumbbells, if I get the 100-pound dumbbells in my hand, or more accurately, if I have one in my hand, that's more than half my body weight. So now I've got to stabilize myself and hang on to the bench. And I can't train as intensely because I'm not training intelligently. Or I see women doing one-legged leg press. Why? Why would you do that? Torque your hips, now you're unstable. Use two. So that's what I'm talking about when I, when I cavalierly threw out the term moron training. And we've all seen this in the gym. Some dude's holding a dumbbell like this and curling this one. And then he holds the dumbbell here and curls this one. Well. How heavy could this dumbbell be if you're holding it there for 30 seconds? Is it hard? I guess it would get tired. But if you really want big biceps, do you think that's the best thing compared to a heavy standing barbell curl and some effective dumbbell curls? Really? I'm Steve Tarano. Train smart, train hard.